Welcome to the AutoSys training video. In this video, we will learn about AutoSys FTP jobs and go through the step-by-step -step job creation tasks to automate your file transfers using the FTP jobs. By the end of this video, you will learn to create and run FTP jobs to automate file transfers. To enhance the learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called Headmoral Bank and demonstrate how to automate their file transfers using FTP jobs and to resolve their challenges. Headmoral Bank is a multinational financial services holding company involved in consumer banking, corporate lending, asset management, wealth management, and investment. It has many branches across the world. Headmoral Bank deals with a large volume of transactions every day, including deposits, withdrawals, fund transfers, and more. These transactions generate a significant amount of data. The bank needs to share the data between the various departments within the bank and with the external partners like regulatory authorities, auditors, and clearinghouses. Also, to ensure data integrity and disaster recovery readiness, Regular backup of these files on remote servers is a must. The file transfers are not happening on time as the concerned personnel manually perform the FTP transfers. This manual process not only creates a data lag, but is also error prone. If not addressed on time, such events can disrupt operations, resulting in data loss and non-compliance. To overcome this challenge, the workload automation developers at Headmoral Bank can set up the AutoSys FTP job to automatically transfer the data file to the remote servers at regular intervals. Before we create the FTP job, let's understand how the FTP job functions. The FTP job type automates the file transfers using file transfer protocol. The FTP job can transfer, upload, or download data using an FTP server or another agent running as an FTP server. The FTP job always acts as an FTP client. Ensure that the system agent is installed on the server where the FTP job runs. Let's enter our training environment and create an FTP job to automatically transfer files to remote servers using the file transfer protocol. We will also monitor the event logs of the FTP job using the auto syslog command. For this demo, we will assume that the environment settings for AutoSys are already in place. To create an FTP job using a Jill script, connect to the AutoSys server running on a Linux operating system and open the primary and secondary shell prompts. Open a text file using a text editor like VI in the primary shell prompt. Define the FTP job definition using the Jill attributes. Provide a unique name for the job definition. Define the job type as FTP. Provide the owner's name. Ensure the owner is a valid operating system user authorized to access the FTP server. This user must have access to the remote server hosting the FTP server. The AutoSys administrator must define the user credentials in AutoSys. If not, the job fails. Provide the target machine name. Ensure that the specified machine is defined within AutoSys and that the system agent is installed. If not, the job definition will fail. Define the start condition for the FTP job. The start condition for the FTP job is a successful execution of the predecessor job, which is a SQL job. Define the FTP transfer type for transferring the text files. Define FTP transfer direction as download. Specify the file path to store the downloaded files. Define the destination file name with the complete path. Provide the FTP server name and the port. And then save the text file. After you define the job in the text file, you must create the job on the scheduler. To do so, in the Jill interface, provide the job definition file name as an input and press enter to create the job. Jill command returns the exit code as zero if the job creation is successful. Let's run the auto syslog command with option E in the secondary shell prompt to monitor the event logs of the FTP job. 
Now that you have successfully created the job, let's manually start the job for this demo. To do so, in the primary shell prompt, start the predecessor SQL job using the send event command. If the start conditions are met, the job starts. AutoSys runs the predecessor SQL job and the successor FTP job to download the specified file. You may notice that the AutoSyslog command utility displays the event log, showing the current status of the FTP job in the secondary shell prompt. The command displays the start, running, and success states, and displays the exit code once the job is in the success state. You can check the destination folder as per the job definition and verify that there is a file that was transferred and now is listed in the folder. You can also check the status of the job by running the auto rep command in the primary shell prompt. Thank you for watching the training video on FTP jobs.